The future of an entire generation is in serious peril. On Tuesday, the Integrated Food Security Phase Classification Partnership said that Gaza faces imminent famine because so little food has been allowed in. Up to 16% of children under five in northern Gaza are now malnourished, compared with less than 1% before the conflict began. Virtually, all households are already skipping meals every day, and adults are reducing their meals so children can eat. Malnourished children need ready-to-use therapeutic food that's targeted at their needs. There are some supplies of this type of food in Gaza, but it cannot be distributed safely to where it's needed. Recent efforts to deliver food by air and sea are welcome, but only the expansion of land crossings will enable large-scale deliveries to prevent famine. Once again, we ask Israel to open more crossings and accelerate the entry and delivery of water, food, medical supplies, and other humanitarian aid into and within Gaza. Once again, we call for health care to be protected and not militarized. Once again, we call for the release of hostages. And once again, we call for an immediate ceasefire.